What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another mobile gaming video. I am your bald-headed boy Scribble and I hope you've been well. We're going to jump back into the world of Age of Origin shortly because I want to talk a little bit about the Iron Blood Battlefield and the madness that ensued when I went in it yesterday evening, I want to say. Let's break this down. What is Iron Blood Battlefield? So I've got some footage just playing in the background here from when I was playing earlier today. Essentially, Iron Blood Battlefield is a PvP game mode, nation across nation, where you get dropped into a completely separate world map, essentially. It, I believe it bubbles your home base while you're doing it. Any battles that you actually undertake during this time will not actually permanently die, which is great. It means you can go in there and you don't have to worry about am I going to lose, you know, a million BP just by being involved in this battle? No, it's kind of just a mass PvP environment. Guild versus Guild or Alliance versus Alliance and Nation versus Nation. You can jump in. Obviously, there's some stuff that you can purchase. There are essentially Iron Blood Battlefield tokens that you can get that you can transfer into various buffs. And if you really, really do want to score well, you do have to use them. However, based on my experience, what we found here in this one here, this is my first proper time going into this game mode. We got absolutely demolished here now my city at the point was level 27 i've just hit level 28 for my main hall and people in my alliance are around that sort of between 27 to low 30s i want to say we immediately when we went in we had an alliance jump on us and surround us and they were all sort of mid to high 30s and we got absolutely destroyed from start to finish it was kind of nuts i didn't know what the heck was going on all I will say is that I tried to reinforce my allies while I could, and I basically blew through all of my heal speed ups. Now, the heal speed ups, any consumables that you use during this battle game mode will actually get fully used. So they will not then transfer back with you into the real world. So even though, you know, any units that you lose in battle won't be there, uh, won't, won't disappear, any speed ups that you use will. Any gold that you use, obviously, to repair the city defenses of your town will also get used. So I went in with, what, 24,000 gold here. I probably spent maybe 1,000, 2,000 gold in total, something there or thereabouts, just uh, repairing my city walls. But it was just absolutely manic. I don't know if they're all like this. You can see all the, <laughs> all my alliance members gathered around in one spot and we just all got surrounded almost immediately. Essentially, there are three phases to this. Um, each, each, there are three battles or three sets of battles, essentially, that you can uh, you can join up. And each set of battle has a total of three potential overall matches that you can get involved with. I think they're around about 20 minutes per battle. And essentially, if you want to get from battle one to battle two to battle three, you need to hit a certain point threshold. I, th I believe the first one was you need to hit one million, uh, 8 million points, sorry. And the second one, you need to hit like 1.6. Now, I did actually manage to get all the way through to the finals. Um, and I think the only reason I was able to do that is because I just blew through all of my heal, heal ups. We got surrounded immediately. They all kept on attacking. Even if you lose battles and even if you lose units and stuff like that, you can heal them within the battle and it does give you quite a significant amount of points. If I was to just go into the event here and take a look at some of the battles, let, let's go to where the first battle was uh, just yesterday. So over here, I lost 2 million power here, they lost next to none, and what did I, I got 44,000 battle points. Obviously that's not a lot, but then if you look one at one of my successful attacks, we got 600,000, and then when we look at one of the later attacks, obviously it gets a lot more. We got 3.3 .3 there, we got 275,000 there, 610,000 there. I believe there was one somewhere where I got about 2.5 million as well, so the point range is obviously... Um, there's 1.6 million here, 1.7, something like that. And this is even on a loss, guys. So it's all about, you know, how well do you actually perform? How, how much damage are you dealing to the enemy at that time? How much support are you getting to your allies? And that sort of thing. Now, there were stuff at the start. You're able to get um, this fortify bonus at the start. You can sort of see it in the middle uh, just over here. This little button over here, that's a fortify, and it's essentially random chance at increasing one of the base stats. So it could be stuff for like your titans, or it could be the health of your troops, the attack of your troops, the def defense of your troops, all that sort of business. Obviously, that is more for people that are willing to wail and spend money on the game and that sort of thing. As this was my first time, you can see here I'm just going in using all of my heal recoveries as the attacks are coming in. My points here have gone up to two and a half million or so. Um, yeah, so you can see that 
it it's it there is very much an encouragement for people to try and spend to get these sort of smaller little benefits i decided that no i wasn't going to engage in any of that whaling activity at this point i just wanted to get a feel for how does this game mode play in general like i said i have about five million or so um battle points right now um it's it, i'm certainly not a big player i'm not a big pvp player it was interesting to see the game and look at that little dinosaur just walking around the clockwork dinosaur i absolutely love that um yeah, I just wanted to get a feel for the game mode. Now, when it comes to rewards and stuff like that, it's really not so bad. I, Like I said, I did manage to get through all the way to the finals. You can see there somebody's actually coming to reinforce my city over here, a level 28 city, one of my allies. I'm just spending some more crystals there. Uh, not crystals, sorry, gold there to try and, uh, try and repair the city defenses, just taking a look at some of the battles. And it's just incessant. Ah, there we go. This first round is 30 minutes. I think it goes 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that as far as each phase of battle goes. And of course, your troops don't actually recover between those battle phases, okay? So between each individual set of battles, they do, I believe, depending on what you lock in with. But each individual battle from phase to phase to phase, if you are progressing, if you've got, you know, a million troops that are currently being healed and it's going to take a day, they're still going to be there. You're not going to have those automatically given back to you. So it is kind of a war of attrition as you're going on. So if we go back over here, I just want to have a look and see what was the actual... What was the actual points that we got over here? So Iron Blood Battlefield. We got the qualification results. So over here, we got 8 million points roughly in Phase 3. Uh, I, I ranked at number 64 out of however many were going in. So we got managed to get 200 uh, merit over there. We got some extra warplane energy source. That's the XP that we need to level up our warplanes. Got some additional gold and materials. Then when we go through into the next phase, I, I was at 16 million. I think you needed to be about 16 million, maybe 15 million in order to get into the final phase. I was ranked 147. At this point, I was completely out of any sort of heals and stuff like that. Got another 300 merit here. Some extra warplane materials, some extra gold and that sort of thing. Not too bad, really. I mean, technically, I spent this gold. I spent this gold just repairing my defenses. So it kind of pays for itself in some ways, I guess. And then the ranking display at the end there. I, now, I don't know the participation results. Ah, okay, so because we reached uh, this, I, I, is that 4 million, I think? We gain, you gain a little bit extra. So you do get a little bit, um, a little bit of extra bonuses just from participating in that stuff, that sort of thing. And I believe that these badges over here do also give you small amounts of benefits during certain game modes, such as Iron Blood Battlefield as well. And this is what it looks like at the end of the phase when it's calculating all the results. You can see over there, phase one, I managed to go ahead and earn all this. You can see it's one of three individual points. You can see the various um, restrictions. Right? You're allowed to attack members of other nations, your own nations. You're not allowed to attack people within your own alliance. And then it goes through into the second phase and then further on into the first fa uh, third phase if you happen to qualify. So you can see your points at the top. This is that fortify section that I was talking about. You can use those individual Iron Blood coins then to try and you know roll the dice for additional benefits it's a hundred percent chance of getting a benefit you just can't choose what area of the game it actually goes to you can't choose where it actually heals you up or improves your offense and stuff like that you see i'm completely out of heal ups there now you do also get um supply drops every so often it might be every five minutes during each phase and that gives you you know, like 200,000 additional sets of troops that can reinforce your base. It's it's useful. You just have to be cognizant of, oh, I should be around to click that accept button. And here's me just finishing off the last phase of, uh, of phase two, going into phase three. I got very lucky here, actually, right at the end of the phase. Somebody teleported next to me, tried to attack me and failed. And I got like two million plus um, plus points for the actual game mode, which is really handy because I think without this guy coming in and trying to attack me like that, I don't think I would have actually qualified for the final phase. You can see over here, I've just gone up to 15 million points here. I checked the results here and yeah, there's an extra 700,000 points because I basically attacked him right after he attacked me. I thought, well, I might as well go ahead and give him a poke. Why not? Uh, quite a fun game mode, all in all. I would say if you are going to go in and you're not going to be spending any money on it, then make sure that you've got a big metric button of uh, of heal ups for your troops. It's probably not the best way about doing it. I'm very new to this game mode. I'm just sort of dipping my toes in when I get the chance to do a little bit of this PvP action. Overall, though, kind of a fun game mode, I'll be honest. Kind of a fun game mode. I did quite enjoy it. I'd probably play it again. Um, the only problem is you do also need to set aside some time for it. 
like I said, three phases. If you're qualifying between phases, you do need to have teamwork with your alliance to make sure you all join together and start helping each other out and finding targets to actually go out and hit. In that one, I basically, in that one, we were just, we immediately got murked. We didn't even try. We didn't even try to find anybody. They just surrounded us and then they just threw troops after troops after troops that are just completely destroying us but in the end it helped us as well because we got a bunch of points for it as well um yeah go in with a bunch of uh, of heal speed ups essentially to recover your troops make sure you've got you know strong defenses and strong investments in your officers and your titans and all that sort of good business fun fun but you do need to set aside probably about an hour hour and a half's time just to make sure you're around to actually go through now i believe like I said, you, out of the three battles that you can get involved with, there are three sets of three battles. You can only participate in any two in any given Iron Blood event. So, you know, if you miss one of them, it's not the end of the world. You can still get in for another two. Good business. Let me know, guys, in the comments section down below. How do you get on? Do you enjoy Iron Blood Battlefield? Is it your favorite game mode or are you just not that fussed? Make sure you do like and give a subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the very next video. Peace out and big love.